Berber Mingus. This is the smokestack, as you can see here. First stop on the trip. There's a lot of interesting history about this place that will be on the website. All right, we're out. Okay, we're at Mary's Cafe. Carl's got the burger. Look at this thing. We're gonna zoom in. This is her holding this burger. So how do you attack this thing? I'm gonna cut it in half. Yeah? If I don't cut my finger first. Yeah, that is a big burger. Yes. Yeah, I don't really, I, I don't really know, honestly, how I'm gonna do this. Wow. Go ahead. My mouth is not that big. Awesome trip. Hello, Texas travelers. All right, we are still in Strawn after eating a big meal at Mary's. We are in the Strawn Cemetery. Um, there are several historic markers here. It's saying that some of the earliest burials here were in the 1800s. Kind of an old place. Let's see some of the markers here. Kind of old. What's kind of interesting about some of these is they're hand carved. Let's see if I can get this in here, but it's in Spanish. Kind of a neat little thing. Um, so it's just right up the road from Mary's, on the way back to the interstate. Not a very big place. Come check it out. The entrance is kind of a neat little place. But if you're into old Texas history, come check out some of the historical markers here. All right, I'm out. Hello, travelers. We are in Desdemona, Texas at the Desdemona Cemetery. I'll try to say that three times. Anyway, what's significant about this place is you can look it up in the Texas historical markers because there's one right out front right over here. But what's neat about this place is this cemetery has people buried from the early 1800s and there are a significant amount of Texas Civil War veterans here. And somebody has come through and marked some of them with Confederate flags. This one, you can see this is W.H. Peacock, born February 6, 1821, died July 7, 1879. There are several others all around. The also neat about this thing, and it also says in the actual historical marker, that there are numerous just barely marked graves. Some they say there are several unmarked graves all underneath these oak trees here. As you can see, some of them are just little rocks can't really read them anymore. A lot of big ones fenced off, some more, which we know are some of usually the more popular or wealthy citizens around here. Kind of a neat place if you're a history buff. I definitely recommend it. All right, I'm out. Alright, we're here in Dublin, Texas for their festival here. There's the bottling company with the soda shop. Lots of activities going on. Look at this. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Let's 
sag hustle. Stuff, just kind of show you around here. One, Stuff in the streets. Two, yeah, one, just a little party going on. Two. All right, I'm out. Whoa, travelers. We are in Cross Plains, Texas, and behind me, which I was not aware of, is the home of Robert E. Howard. Robert E. Howard, which I wasn't even aware of, was the writer of several different things, including Conan the Barbarian. Here in Cross Plains, they're having a festival this weekend, the Conan the Barbarian Festival. It wasn't quite exactly what I was thinking it was going to be. There wasn't people dressed up in loincloths and wielding swords around. However, they did have lots of things going around the town, like you could buy hamburgers, hot dogs, the funnel cakes, all that good stuff in the normal thing. But if you're ever around Cross Plains, even if it's not during the festival, you can come visit the Robert E. Howard Museum, which is located inside his house, and it shows all kinds of his writings, and they have a lot of original things and duplicates, but it's actually pretty interesting. Check it out. I'm out.